Hey everyone, welcome back to another video with Plant and Grow. Um, I appreciate you all commenting, liking. Uh, I got a ga I gained a few subscribers on the last video, so I really appreciate that, guys. If you guys don't mind, please go subscribe, drop a like, and uh, comment again which plant is your favorite. Uh, what are some tips and tricks you want to see, or just any information about plants? I'll try to answer them to the best of my knowledge and um, see what I can do to help you guys. But I'm gonna get right into it today. Um, basically, we're just gonna talk about tips, tricks, and basically my routine with my plants. Um, pretty simple for what I do. I try to make it as low maintenance as possible. Um, so I'll get right into that. I hope it helps you guys. Um, and if so, please guys, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you would like. So to get right into it, I think the first thing that I'm gonna talk about that a lot of people brought up in the last video are these trays with water and rocks, they might not look the prettiest. Um, they're kind of gross, to be honest with you, which I change them out like probably once every like three weeks when I start getting this stuff on them. I just usually grab my water can and then pour some water in there. It gets rid of the old stuff and now I have new stuff. <laughs> but so the reason why I do this is for isolated humidity. Um, it's a big thing for plants, they need humidity, they need to have that humidity to put out new leaves. Um, if they don't, then leaves tend to brown, um, come out misshapen, break, tear, whatever. Cause like, I'll give you an example here. So this one didn't have humidity. The leaf looks a little wonky. Like it tore right here. It browned a little bit right there. Like the leaf doesn't come out the best. So that's why, and this one doesn't have this one doesn't have a tray over here. So maybe I should put a tray on this one. Maybe that's a good idea. But like I put trays around, especially all my expen expensive plants because it helps them put out nice, beautiful, shiny leaves that don't tear. So yeah, that's my tip is put these around your plants if, especially if you don't have a lot of humidity. Right now, my humidity is 79. So I mean, do I need it? Maybe not, I don't know, but it helps in my opinion, especially when I bring them in in the winter time, um, it definitely helps. But yeah, that's my first tip is to help the humidity around the plant. Just put isolated um, little cans. These are just tuna cans, by the way. That's all it is. All you gotta do, eat a can of tuna, uh, tear off the paper around the sides, fill it up with rocks and water, and you're good. Um, the next tip, as you can tell, I have like a pole maze going around here. But I kind of brought this up in the last video, but Basically, all these poles are are stability, and it just helps the plant mature faster. The more that the plant can grow up a pole, the faster the plant can mature, get bigger leaves, get fenestrations. Because like this plant right here, I didn't put on a pole until this leaf came out, and now this one that's coming out right now has a fenestration on it. So it's like, I don't know if that's luck, but for me, it always helps get plants, get fenestrations quicker and faster and bigger leaves. So again, I don't know if it helps. Um, in my opinion, in my head, I think it does. Um, I see a lot of other people do it. So these roots, these aerial roots will wrap around this and they'll just keep going and then it'll give stability and it'll basically give a little bit of momentum for the plant to grow up, get bigger, faster. And that's really the only reason why I have these in here. I mean, they look cool too. It's easier to have plants grow up instead of grow out for room purposes as well. So maybe that's another thing, but that's why I do it. Um, I don't know, maybe try it if you haven't and see if you, if you like it or not. But yeah, let me know if you do use it, if you do like it, and if not, why don't you like it? Uh, the next thing I'm going to go into is my soil composition. So as you can see, I have a lot of perlite in here. Um, normal. So like what I use is just miracle Grow and Perlite. That's all I use. I don't fertilize. I don't do anything besides miracle Grow and Perlite. That's all I use. Um, I use about 50, 50. Sometimes I'll use 60, 40. Um, that's if the plant needs drainage more and it's outside in the summer, then I'll use 60, 40 or maybe even 70, 30 because it needs more drainage for rain and stuff like that. But yeah, I use this um, soil mix because I think that it helps the soil get very airy. It needs air in there so it doesn't all just get clumped together and basically 
tangle your roots and kill your roots. It'll just suffocate them. So I like to have it like that. Um, perlite is really good. It helps. It lets the roots attach to it, get stronger and stronger, and helps your plant grow faster, in my opinion. But the next thing that we're going to talk about is this, water. So what I use is I collect rainwater. So all this water in here is rainwater. I've only used rainwater to water all my plants um, for about two years now, I would say. Yeah, I think about two years. But I water my plants practically, um, I don't know, whenever I think that it's needed. Um, basically, I don't have a routine, I guess, for say, for my plants to water them. Um, basically, if they're getting dry, I water it. <laughs> I, I can like stick my finger down in it. If I don't feel any moisture at all, water it right away. That's what I do personally. But yeah, I mean, I don't have a routine. I don't like to have a routine with it because I don't want to feel like it's a job, I guess. I like this as a hobby. I do it for a hobby. I collect plants because I'm a plant hobbyist. That's what I do. And I don't want to basically have it as a job because I already have a job and I don't have two jobs. So, but I think you understand. But yeah, I water them when needed. Um, they do perfectly fine. They'll take a little bit of dryness. They really will. So, I mean, if your plant's a little dry, like the soil, it's not going to kill it. But yeah, just make sure that it's not bone dry, I guess. Like if you can just grab the dirt out and it's just like falling apart, like that, it needs watered probably. But yeah, water your plants when you think um, it might take a couple weeks, months, years to understand that um, and actually like understand how much water your plants need. But it's really not that bad. The plants will live. They're hardy. Um, you can cut them. You can do whatever you want. But yeah, that's really my tips, tricks, routine for my plants. I keep it simple, easy, um, just for me, in my opinion. That's what I like to do. I like to keep things simple and easy. So if you guys have any tips or tricks that could help me along the way too, let me know. Um, I'm always open to everything because whatever is best for my plants, I'll try to do. So but yeah, guys, thank you again for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, if you have any comments, if you have any tips for other videos, uh, suggestions for other videos, I love to get those. I think it's fun. Um, whatever you guys, I like to post. Whatever you guys like, I like to post as videos. So whatever you want, comment down below and uh, make sure you guys subscribe and like. Thank you.